Hi everyone and welcome to yet another tech tutorial by Pixelmoo. Today we're going to look at SharePoint news links, what they are and how to manage them. This is the second video in a series of four which will turn into a SharePoint news publishing expert. So our previous video was all about news posts and in the next two videos we'll look at configuring news web parts and building a full on corporate news center in SharePoint. So before we get stuck into news links, I just want to ask that if you find this video useful, it'd be really great if you can hit the subscribe button for me. That'll really help us keep this channel going. All right, let's get stuck into it then. So news links are somewhat different to news posts. There are some similarities too though. For example, in news web parts such as this one, they will show up just like any other news post. And they will also show up in your news feed up here and on the SharePoint start page. But going back to this site now, the main difference is that there is no page to go along with the news link. All it is is a link as well as a title, a thumbnail picture and a description. So the content you want to link to has to have already been made somewhere else. It can be anything like another SharePoint page, a Yammer post, or even another website. As long as it has a web address or a URL, you can link to it with a news link. News links are easy to create and they're pretty easy to manage too if you can just find them. And I'll show you how to do that. So when would you use a news link? There's one obvious example and that's linked to a website like YouTube or CNN or whatever. A less obvious example is to actually link to another page or an old news post on your own SharePoint site. For example, here is an old page that we made some time ago, reminding our staff to be nice to our customers. It's surprising how often we have to remind them about it. But rather than making a new page or a new post with duplicate content every time somebody needs a reminder, what we're going to do instead is just leave this page in place, grab the URL for that page, and then go and create a link to it instead. So the way it works is simply go up to the new button here and go down, 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 and click on news link. Once you do that, out here on the right, you get a little pop-up pane where you can paste the link to the content you're linking to. Once you do that, SharePoint will go ferret about that page and try to grab a thumbnail picture, the page title, as well as the description. Now we've just got placeholder text, but you'll see it'll try to fill all 250 characters. And what you can do here is change anything you don't like. For example, the description, you might want to shorten it down a little bit. You can also change the thumbnail picture to something else, like a shopping center, very busy, many customers to be nice to, and you can change the title. I would really recommend changing the title actually, because that'll make it easier to find the news link later on if you need to edit it. Everything's looking good and we're ready to post, so I'll simply just hit the post button and off it goes. There you go, straight away the news link has shown up in our news feed. And when I click through to it, it takes us straight to that page that we talked about before. Now, how about linking to another website, like for example, YouTube? If you pop over to YouTube, here's this awesome video by an outfit called Pixamu. They're talking about becoming news posting experts on SharePoint. That's kind of interesting. So we're going to grab a link to that video and we're going to put that on our internet site as well. Again, from the homepage here, click the new button, go down to news link and get this fly out here. We'll pop in our YouTube link and wait for SharePoint to go and sniff around that video. Here we go. So it's grabbed the thumbnail for that video as well as the video title and the first 250 characters of the description. Now again, it's cut it off here, so it's not the greatest description. So I'm going to just shorten that a little bit. That looks good. If there's nothing else to do, we just hit post again. And straight away, boom, there's the link showing up in our newsfeed. When I click on that now, it goes straight through to YouTube where we can start watching that video. Now, previously, we've talked about how to edit news posts and also how to edit pages. Doing the same for news link isn't that straightforward. For example, you have to keep in mind that the news link is separate to whatever it's linking to. So see here how the news link be nice to our customers. 
links to this page here. Now, if I were to go and edit this page, such as tidying this up and republishing it, nothing is going to change with the actual news link on this page. It's totally separate. So there are two ways to get to where you can edit the news link. You can either go to site contents up here in the settings, and from there, pop into site pages. And then in the list of pages and posts created by myself, I will find the news link. Now, pay attention here because there's actually nothing indicating that this is a news link other than that I know that's what I called the link. A little trick here is that you can go and bring up a column which is hidden by default. So click on add column and go down to show and hide columns. And then we're going to look for a column called content type. Here it is. I'm going to tick that and hit apply. That brings up this content type column here where everything is called site page, except for this particular one, which is called a repost page. I don't know why it's not called a news link. That's OK. At least it tells us that that's what it is. So if I want to edit the news link like that, I just go and click on the title here. That brings up this little form, which is kind of a little bit like a page, but only with a few fields in it instead. It's all grayed out, but I can try the link to see if it works. That's great. If I do need to edit anything, I can go up here and click the edit button. That will put the news link into editing mode and I can edit everything, including the actual link itself. I'm going to just change the title of our post. Once I'm happy with the new version of that link, I'll hit update news and then we can go back to the home page of our site. And there we go. Remember to be nice to customers. The other way you can get to a news link is if you click on see all in the feed where the news link is showing. And then you go to manage posts. That takes you to this one here where once again, it shows you every post that I have made and it's sorted by time so that the news one is first. And here's the uh, be nice to our customers pretty please news link. Click on that and we get back to where we started just before. And just to show you that news links behave the exact same way as news posts, for example, on the SharePoint Star page, both of them have shown up just like any other news item. We can click through either to the site itself or to the page or video that we've linked to. So there you have it. We're halfway through our journey to become SharePoint news publishing experts, but don't go bragging about it just yet because our next two videos will get a little bit meatier, if I can say that. Anyway, thanks again, guys, and subscribe, please, if you found this video useful.